my name is Charlie Apple and I'm a Godolphin trainer for Molten Paddocks. I've been uh, fortunate enough to be the trainer here at Molten Paddocks uh, since 2013. Uh, obviously very lucky in the first year. Um, Outstrip uh, was my first uh, Grade 1 winner there, uh, winning the, uh, the Juvenile at uh, Santa Anita, which was a very surreal moment. And then uh, again, just uh, been very lucky here, Massart uh, winning the uh, the Investec Derby uh, for His Highness Sheikh Mohammed in the Godolphin Blue was uh, a very special day that uh, I'll never forget um, and it was just great for, for all the team here. Um, and then we've been very fortunate obviously with, uh, with Gayaf um, doing what he's done this year, um, you know, being officially the highest rated horse in the world. It's, again, it's another honour to, uh, to be training these horses and descendants of the great Dubai Millennium and, and Dubawi. As we all know, it's been an unprecedented uh, year for us all, um, with COVID-19 taking over a lot of people's lives. Um, but um, we've uh, been able to enjoy the sport um, of late, and uh, you know the highlights have obviously been, you know, Gaff um, winning the, the coronation and uh, going on to um, then win the Eclipse and uh, and the, the international. Pinatubu uh, has always ran with his heart on his sleeve and uh, although we've, uh, we've met defeat, he's been very gallant in defeat, uh, finishing third in the Guineas and second in St James's Palace, going on to win the Group 1, Pigeon Pratt, uh, and running another gallant second there uh, in, the, in the Prix de Moulin. So um, on the back of his two-year-old career, uh, being crowned champion two-year-old, he's always been an excitement for us every time he's ran. And uh, now we're in the stage of the season there where we're you know, looking for that champion two-year-old again and master the sea so far to date um, within his maiden and, and winning superlative uh, goes into uh, the autumn with a, hopefully a, a bright future ahead of him. Uh, the day-to-day -day training and the running of, uh, of the yard here at Moulton Paddocks uh, I'm very fortunate to have a, a great team behind me, Marie Murphy and, and Alex Merriam as our senior assistants, uh, and then we have a wealth of uh, management behind them as well. Um, you know, they start at early hours of the morning there, um, overseeing just the, the care of the horses before they go out for exercise. Um, have a fantastic team behind us that are exercising these horses and taking good care of them. Uh, followed on by later in the morning, uh, moving up to the office there and. Um, Going through the entries and, and, and declarations and planning of horses of where they are hopefully going to uh, to be racing and uh, sorting out the stuff for the uh, Dubai as well. As we know, the uh, Dubai Carnival is a very important part of our programme. So um, you know, Hannah Pollard and, and the team up in the office, they will uh, you know, orchestrate a lot of that for us. Um, so again, it's, uh, I'm just in a fortunate position to be able to um, be the head of this team but um, they're a great supporting team and um, a lot of this success is, is down to them. The usual starting hours here we, we pull out the horses at uh, six o'clock uh, so the lads will be in here about five, five o'clock in the morning and um, we like, have three lots. Um, we're very lucky we have our own private facilities here at Moulton Paddocks um, so um, you know it's a very nice tranquil uh, Place for horses to be able to uh, to develop, uh, and, and it's very noticeable. Um, you know, you get some of these more highly strung horses that, uh, in the, as we say, the bigger crowds out on the heath would uh, start to, uh, to worry them slightly. Here at Moulton Paddocks, uh, this, this private establishment, they're they're very lucky that they are allowed to uh, like to develop in a very uh, peaceful environment. As we know, uh, this weekend is the Henry Cecil um, Open Weekend and uh, I'm sure people have lots of stories to, to say about uh, Sir Henry Cecil, but um, obviously I just know, knew of him as, a, as a, uh, a, a fantastic trainer. He trained many great horses, but uh, obviously in recent times uh, the way he handled uh, Frankel uh, was just uh, obviously for us all to see and be able to enjoy watching his career develop in in the care of you know Sir Henry Cecil. My name is Marie Murphy. I am Charlie Appleby's assistant here in Moulton Paddocks. 
My typical day would be going around checking individual horses if they need checking. The head lads would let me know if there's anything they're worried about and we would go look at it together. Um, first slot pulls out, go down, make sure they're all sound before they go to the gallop um, and then relay anything that we need to tell Charlie before he sees them. To have the babies from the get-go and to see them mature into champion two-year-old like Pinatubo last year and to go on then into their three-year-old career. Yeah, seeing the babies mature into racehorses is lovely to see. Guide has been a superstar for the yard. Obviously Pinatubo as well, can't forget him. He's he's just been a bit unlucky in his in his runs, but um, Gaia, yeah, definitely guides are superstar. Funny enough, Gaia and Pinatubo, they both swim before they, they go out to the canter. They, um, the seawalker, swimming pool, all of those things are very beneficial to us. The seawalker, I think, is very beneficial to the yard, simply because we would have horses that can pull out a bit stiff in the morning, so they go there for their early walk. Um, we use it for two-year-olds that might be, just need to get a bit more in before they go out to the canter, a bit more exercise. Um, it also it has, acts as a cooling agent for splints, shins, fetlocks, things like that, all, all those kind of things. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Derek Popard. I am Charlie Appleby's farrier and I've been here since he started. I've been here for 10 years now. So basically my role here as the farrier, there's two of us in this stable right now. Um, we've got 55 horses on each side. Um, I'm responsible too for barn one here. You know, every day we'll check um, the horses to make sure all their shoes are in the right position and then make up a list of what we need to get done. Um, all the horses will train in a steel shoe purely because it's quite a long walk from here to the track. So they'll wear a pair of steel, steel shoes out in about two weeks. Um, an aluminium shoe, what they race in, they'll last about seven, seven days onwards. They won't last much more than probably two weeks. Um, so what we do here is that every horse, is, we've got a routine that goes. So the horses, start, when they first start off, they'll trot and then go further. And then as they get closer to a race day, we'll, try, we'll start getting them prepared with their shoeing. Uh, and it's, it's, you know, it's pretty, we're trying to keep it as basic as possible. Being on site all the time does help and it does make a difference. Mm -hmm.